now we're back to the hive search. This is our primary interdisciplinary search. It searches our catalog, it searches most of our databases, and it even has some online things as well. It searches databases that we subscribe to as well as databases that we don't. So you'll find a lot of abstracts and citations in here, but it also has a link for interlibrary loan forms directly in the system. So you don't have to go outside of it to find that information. Let's say that I wanna do a search for financial statements. You can tell it to search for keyword, title, or author. I'm going to leave it at keyword. You can also tell it that you want full text or peer-reviewed. I'm going to leave that blank, and I'll show you in a minute. And you can choose a specific search profile. You guys might be interested in business and economics. I'm going to leave it at the much broader main SPSU Hive search so we can make some comparisons. When it pulls up financial statements, you see it has 461,641 results. That's quite a bit of information. But check out here where it says the different subjects. There's subjects accounting, subjects fraud, financial statements. Let's play around with that a little bit. If you click on advanced search, I can go up here. I can change this so that it's a subject term. I can add the word fraud to be another subject term. So we went from 461,000 odd. And when I change those terms, now we're down to 2,672. I know your professor is going to be wanting scholarly peer-reviewed journals. You're probably going to be wanting full text. When I make those adjustments, we're down to 794. Let's say that you're doing your research early and you've got some time to request interlibrary loans for something that we don't have full text for. That bumps it back up to 942. So there's not a huge difference in between the two. Sometimes you'll find things written in different languages. Let's make sure it's written in the English language. And let's say you're interested in financial statement fraud that's happening in the United States. So you remember at the beginning of our search, we had over 461,000. Now we're down to 145, just by narrowing that search. Another way you could narrow your search is to click on the search in the upper left. We were talking about the different subjects you could choose. These are those same subjects. It's just in more of a cell format. Click on business and economics and enter that same search. financial statements. Now it's down to 238,739. So it's already shrunk some from that 461,000. And we can make those same adjustments that we made before, go back up to advanced search, make sure financial statements is a subject term, add the word fraud, make that a subject term. Um, we still want scholarly journals, so we can go ahead and make that selection here. You can also make your selection to the English language here and you can go ahead and get that in there. Now we're down to 356. But remember, we had also limited the geographic location to United States. Click on Update. We're down to 97. So that gives you more of a feel for how this database works. You'll find some other options over here on the right. Here's our chat box again, Flickr images. Sometimes Flickr will find stuff. This was too detailed of a search. Um, films on demand, that gives you the search box to search over in Films on Demand. C-SPAN, if there's anything going on, um, you can look for it there in that search box. Uh, those same statistics sources we went over before, LibGuides, LibAnswers, and various um, help videos. So if you have questions about how to use Hive Search itself, how to use the advanced search, what do you do with the results page, you can click on these links and that'll take you over to YouTube to view some of our training videos. But here you can see the full text PDF. You'll see some of these have images. This journal article we don't have in full text, but you'll still see this find it button. If you click on there, it'll see if any of our other databases have it. It looks like we don't. So in this case, just click on request this item through interlibrary loan. It'll open up a new form, put your information in the top. It pre-populates the journal's information on the bottom. So you don't have to go back and forth and type that in. The system will do that for you.